Okay, I good to work, everyone. As we start the wonderful week of uh, today is the twenty sixth day of the Omer, the Shem Yudke Vavke, which we call twenty uh, six Limatmonim. If we're writing a friendly letter, we write Limatmonim, which means towards the treasure, uh, which is Kabbalah Satira, but it also means it's a com- composite of Lemem Tesmonim. We count forty nine days as we start Mitzvah uh, Shem, the week of Shabbos Parshas Bahar learning the fourth parak of Saita with Mishnah Gimel and Mishnah Dalit, sponsored by the Nishmas of Rami Shaya ben Shmaiyo Yosef, the Rafu Shalei Mefeli Yom Ha'ishim Echayisar, for the Schus of Abram and Yom Ben Ishmael Malki Yudas and family, we sponsor by the Fisher family, the Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain, and the Rafu Shalei Mefeli Yom Ben Echayisar, and by Yol Klugman and family for their Gesund uh, Parnasa and Nacha. So we said that if the marriage is not allowed, then the water will not test because it's only if it's Ru'uya for Ishis. Now there's a halacha in the olden days uh, where they didn't have cheap formula. We were afraid that if a woman was uh, with pregnant from another husband or or with a child from another husband, she shouldn't get married until the child is weaned at two years old. Because we're afraid she'll marry another man and she'll become pregnant, her milk will dry out, he will not support the baby from the other marriage and the baby might die. So therefore until uh, the baby is weaned, she's not allowed to get married. If she did marry Chatzkel, Moberis Kavera, if she was pregnant from another husband when she married Chatzkel, or Meinekes Kavera, she was nursing a child that was less than two years old. So therefore, since that marriage was barred, it was illegal, Leishesis, if she was, became a Saita, she doesn't drink, Velay Nightless Ksuva, but she forfeits her Ksuva, Divir Amea. Chacham say in this case she drinks. Why? Because she is worthy to continue being married to this second husband. She just has to separate until the baby gets to be two years old. Then she could go back to the husband. So the Chacham Maimim, Yachalu Lafrisha, the Rav learns he could give her a get, and take her back after the two years when it's not dangerous. And therefore, since she could still live with this man, therefore, if she is married to him now, she can drink the Mayhamarim and the Mayhamarim will test her. Another case, let's say he never had children. Since he has a mitzvah period of Arivia, he has to marry a Bas Bonim. If he married an islandess, a woman who's barren and can't have children, who's a Kano, a woman that's too old to have children, or a Shane real Eilid, or she can't have children because she drank a cup of sterility, since he's not supposed to remain married to her because he needs to be Mekai period of Arivia, it's not a legal marriage, and therefore she doesn't drink, but because she disobeyed her husband, she forfeits her ksuva. Rabbi Laza disagrees. Rabbi Laza says she could stay married. He could stay married to her. He just has to marry another wife. This is before the Cherem de Rabbi Geshem. He just has to marry another wife and have children from her. Rabbi Leazar, I'm a Yochel Ulisi Isha Acheres. He can marry another wife, a Lifrois of a Lirboi Seimena, and have period review with her. And therefore, he could stay with this woman, and therefore, the waters will test her. Ushar Kalanashim, all other women that they're allowed to be married, he's allowed to be married to. So if she uh, became an Isha Saita, Isha Isis, either she drinks, or she has the option to say, I'm out of here, and she forfeits her Ksuva. Now here we learn an interesting halacha, very interesting. It's something that gives us pause to think. Here you have a Koyin marries a woman. He tells her not to be alone with Chatzkel, and she closets herself in uh, with Chatzkel in room 208. And then she drinks the water, and she doesn't die. So that means she didn't commit an Aveira. Can she continue living with her husband, the Kayin? Now, although the waters proved that she wasn't guilty, but the waters don't prove that she wasn't raped. She might have been raped by the man. 
and then she would be forbidden to live with a kain because a kain is not allowed to live even with an anusa. So the Gemara, the Mishnah says we don't worry about that. He aishes kain shaisa, a wife of a kain drinks, and if the waters exonerate her, then umateris labala, she's permitted to live with her husband the kain. Aishes saris shaisa. This is another interesting halacha. He's a saris, and he married a woman. Now, even though uh, they can't have children. Well, Saris, a eunuch, can't have children, and she doesn't have a mitzvah period of Arivia, so there's nothing wrong with that marriage. If she becomes a saita, then she drinks. Al yedei kol aroyis If, let's say, she flirts with her brother, so the husband could warn her not to be alone with her brother, and if she's alone with her brother or her uncle, the waters will test her. Chutzman akadim. But if he wants her not to be with a child, uh, then the waters don't test her because the Pasuk says ish and umimisha and ish she's, she's, fl- she's stink- hanging around too much a dog and sleeping in the bed with the dog so he wants her not to be with the dog if she's alone in a room with the dog the, we don't give her the water because again we only do it with an ish and not with an animal alright we we'll stop over here everyone it's wonderful to be learning with everybody for this long Matzai Shabbos night. What a beautiful way to start the new week. Have a wonderful week, everyone.